This is a great image demonstrating the time course of untreated HIV infections. The x-axis represents time, which we can see in weeks and years. And the y-axis in blue represents the CD4 count, while the y-axis in red over here represents the viral load. So when a patient is first exposed to the virus, or during the primary infection, the viral load rises, as you can see by the steep red line right here. And the CD4 count begins to fall as CD4 positive cells are destroyed by the virus. You can see this indicated by the blue line right here as it begins to drop off. The host begins to fight off the infection using CD8 positive T cells, which eliminates some of the viruses and allows the CD4 count to slightly rise. You can see that right here. Here, the virus and immune system have a tug of war and there is a period of clinical latency, and this typically lasts several years. However, eventually the virus prevails, the CD4 count continues to decline, and the viral load continues to rise. Once the CD4 count drops to 200, the disease is called AIDS, and the patient begins to develop symptoms. So you can see that a CD4 count of 200 corresponds to this blue line right here. And it's here that the patient has symptoms of AIDS. Because the viral load is so high and the immune system is so suppressed, the patient begins to develop opportunistic infections and eventually dies. All right, now that you understand this conceptually, let's return to the image mnemonic to help you memorize these details. As you can see, we've added another servant helper person with the number four on our shirt, which is our symbol for the CD4 cell. This servant is part of the force opposing the witch, but she appears to be having a hard time fighting against the witch's magic. If you look closely, you can see that she's holding her neck because the witch is casting a spell on her. The reference to the neck should help you think of pharyngitis, and remember that the initial HIV infection may present with pharyngitis. Now we've shown her holding a lamp, which is our symbol for fever, and this is here to help you remember that the initial HIV infection may also present with a fever. Finally, you can see that the witch has cast another spell on her, causing a green net to trap her feet. This net with little green beads on it resembles the lymphatic system and is here to help you remember that the initial HIV infection may present with lymphadenopathy. The witch is also casting a spell on this soldier, causing him to drift into a deep sleep. You can see that he's definitely sleeping because he has Z's above his head. Anyway, this sleeping person should help you remember that there is a period of latency following the initial infection.